everyone, I'm Damien Holbert from TV Guide Magazine at, T at Hollywood Branded's Unbranded Lounge here at Comic-Con. And, and we are here with the Paper Girls of Prime Video's Paper Girls and some of the grown-ups from Paper Girls. So first I want to talk to our Paper Girls, because if you are aware of the show or the graphic novel series, this is some crazy stuff. Um, so as a paper boy, a former paper boy, uh, you guys have learned that it is a very early start to your day. So in the show, you four meet up crack of dawn to deliver newspapers in the 80s. Not exactly all friends, right? Yeah. <laughs> I would say we weren't friends originally, but I think going through these that could be considered traumatic experiences in the show really bonded us and made us closer. Plus, I feel like we related to each other, like, off the bat, and I think that really helped. Okay. All right, so how was it for you guys filming in an era and a period where, like, you're too young to even remember what it was like to ride your bike at 5 in the morning delivering newspapers? How was that filming in, in this world that you are so far from? Oh, well, um, I'll, <laughs> well, thank you, Fina. Uh, I'll say... I grew up around a lot of 80s culture, and my mom was actually a paper girl. Her, she inherited the root from her uncles, um, her brothers, my uncles. And I, I mean, people are really the same throughout any time. So I think just capturing the person and not just the, the clothes that they're wearing or the Walkman that they have on, just, just being the person, being yeah. in the moment with them. Okay. And now give me, down the line, tell me about your character. So you can start first, because you're the new one. <laughs> yeah, I, I play Erin. Um, she comes from a very sheltered household. She's really trying to figure out where she fits in in this homogenous suburb of 1980s Ohio. Um, so she starts out quite naturally to be a bit timid and awkward. And then as all these crazy things start coming at her is when we really start to see how she's feeling eternally. KJ is fiercely protective of her friends and incredibly loyal and compassionate. Uh, she is subtle until she is not. Um, and this series really allows her to go on this journey of finding herself uh, similarly to all the girls. Um, and we really see her confidence grow and come into who she is. Uh, and I hope audiences love to watch all of our, all of our journeys. Mac is, uh, she's a foul-mouthed, uh, brazen, outspoken, kind of aggressive little street rat. And she's grown up in a rough, a rough household, but she has a, a heart of gold. Mm -hmm. She seems like she's a pretty tough nut to crack, but she has, she has good intentions. Okay. She has good intentions, yeah. Here we go. I would say Tiff is this encyclopedic, curious fireball, if you know what I mean, because she always wants to learn more and she always wants to better herself, very mentally mostly, and she's very protective over the people that she loves. And Tiff is kind of lonely because she's like an only child, so she did turn to technology for that until she met these guys and they kind of filled that hole in her heart. So she's not lonely anymore, and I really love Tiff a lot. So, yeah. Love it. Okay, and now without spoiling anything, because... You make a very dramatic entrance <laughs> in the yeah. first episode. I yes. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to spoil too much. What are your characters doing? Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to keep the world together. Hmm. I'm, I'm trying to uh, keep the order uh, that has been created that I happen to benefit from as well. I'm a fierce warrior, and I um, stop anyone who tries to get in my way. Oh. Okay. And me. <laughs> it's going to be tough for my side to go up against this side. This is like a determined warrior, mm -hmm. and I'm an awkward, sad man who lives on a farm <laughs> in Illinois. Um, well, it's not, it's not in Illinois, actually. It's in Ohio. Um, I'm sort of pushing back against the order mm -hmm. that Adina's character is trying to force on the world. So there's sort of like back and forth push and pull between good and evil. And it's crazy that this face... Mm -hmm. tries to help these girls, and then things go sideways. And you'll have to watch and see All what right. happens okay. next. And now, so in the opening episode, Mac, we see that she's got the Walkman, and the music on the show is amazing. What, and given that there is a level of um, time differences, we'll say, on the show, what modern product would you take from today and give to your characters in the past? Ooh, good question. 
I would say a phone, like a mobile portable phone, mm -hmm. because I feel like Tiff would love to like investigate into it and try to take it apart and then rebuild it and just figure out all the inner workings, and I think she'd have fun. Okay. I think Mac would probably appreciate a, a set of Bluetooth headphones. Ooh. Okay, yeah. yeah. An air fryer. <laughs> They're so convenient. I know! And, you know, you throw anything in there and it's cooked perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> Air fryer is a very good thing to have. I think a mobile cell phone for Erin. I feel like she needs some, she needs some, something to keep her young. Okay. I feel like Erin, she's kind of forced to grow up really quickly, so I think... Uh, an outlet, almost. Literally. Yeah. Very quickly. <laughs> yeah. What about you guys? EpiPen. Mm. Yeah, EpiPen's important. Um, I don't know. I think uh, I think he needed to, like sort of like a Peloton. Oh. Larry needed to a strengthen, Peloton. like to prep. Yeah, he yeah. needed to strengthen his core, like get his cardio up. I like it. I like Peloton it. Peloton would be helpful. All right, excellent. Well, there you have it. Everyone, do not miss Paper Girls on Prime Video. This show is so cool. It's it's got a little bit of Stranger Things in it. It's got. It's got a Dina Porter in it, which Dina is, Porter I mean, <laughs> let us Dina all discuss. Porter is in it. Yes. And you guys are amazing. I'm so excited to see, as you said, like, watch your journey, because by the end of the first episode, they are on one. So do not miss it. Thank you guys so Thank much. You Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.